did not get any fucking work done today because I slept in. Jesus fucking Christ, I couldn't sleep at all last night. Drank two bottles of fucking wine. Last time I saw what time it was, it was like 3.45. But typically, the people in my building and outside my building can't let me sleep past eight. Like, good. And I didn't fucking wake up until noon. And I didn't have my <clears throat> video posted. I didn't have um, all my stuff ready for the fucking post office. I'm totally behind on fucking everything. Oh, and I'm still trying to put contracts together and shit. So um, I think what I'm gonna do is, and I'm late for a meeting. So I'm gonna go do the meeting and hopefully get work done while I'm there. So that's how that's gonna go. And um, hopefully get one of those yummy white macadamia things. Oh God, guys, I am fucking beat. I feel like I've been running around and I got up just in time to move my car before the parking cop came. And I should still be driving it, but I don't wanna lose the parking spot that I got and this coffee shop isn't really that far. So I just thought I would walk in the 102 degree weather because that's what you do when you're a fucking dumbass motherfucker. Am I right? Oh shit. I'm wondering if this is the food truck that fucking poisoned the shit out of me. I gotta see the side of it. Is it? It's a beer truck. Fuck, is this the one? I can't remember. Salad fries. That looks pretty disgusting. Is this the truck? I don't know. Here's, um, whatever library that is. I don't know where the fuck I am right now. I mean, I know where I am. I just don't know what that's called. Um, is that, like, Westlake Branch or Koreatown Branch? I don't fucking know. Hey everybody. I don't know if I'm gonna put this on a vlog or anything like that, but I need to say something. Oh, he's naked and he's walking in the middle of the street. Thank you. Okay, so basically what's going on is that I need to like lay some ground rules, mainly for me, and I'm gonna say them because I feel like if I say them out loud, I'll like, like believe it more. And if I say it to you guys, hopefully you guys will hold me accountable to this stuff. Okay. So here's the deal. One, I need space to fucking live. Like I need to be able to like, right. I need to be able to like be alone so I can do these things. Okay. And when like, and this just goes for anybody watching this, who's in my area. Okay. Who comes and sees me. If you feel like you're coming to see me a lot, it's probably because you're coming to see me a lot. All right. I need my fucking creative time. I don't know how else to say it. And a lot of time, that is at night. Because during the day, I'm fucking working. I'm doing all the other fucking admin shit that I have to fucking do in order to not only be like a self-published poet, but also to fucking run Poetic Anarchy Press. Like, I, I do my YouTube channel and like everything I do, like I know a lot of you guys feel like I do a lot. And I appreciate the fact that you feel that way. I don't feel like I do that much. Let me see if this one is green. Do they pay for this one? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, cool. 
free parking. Like, I feel like I don't get enough done. I feel like anyone else would be able to run what I do better and more efficiently. Okay? I am fucking scatterbrained. I do, like, fucking 50 fucking things at once. And I try, by the fucking grace of fucking God, whoever the fuck you are, to get these things fucking done. So when the sun goes down, dude... And I put some music on and I pour myself a glass of wine and I light myself a fucking cigarette. That is my time. That is when I am fucking creating. That is when I'm like sucking inspiration out of the sky. All right. That is what I have. And it's all I fucking have. And when you take that from me, when you like either are around or you are fuck I don't know because there's there's times when I will like call people or I will text people if I'm initiating that contact it means I'm either done or I haven't started yet or whatever and that's fine but when I'm not contacting you and you show up or like I don't know like this is so fucking hard for me because it hurts me to fucking say things to people like this because I, but whether you fucking believe it or not, I'm a really fucking nice guy. And when people need me, I'm fucking there for them. Okay. But when it happens all the fucking time and I can't get done what I need to get done and I can't just have those moments that make me not go crazy like, I fucking need that. Dude, last night, I was up till 3 o'clock in the morning editing YouTube videos and fucking making thumbnails and uploading videos and uploading the podcast and doing all this shit. That's daytime shit. But I wasn't allowed to fucking do that yesterday. You know? So I'm just saying, it's like... I'm only one fucking man trying to do the work of a bunch of fucking people and still trying to be creative and still trying to make my fucking art. The other thing is, is that like, I am very, I am very fucking sensitive. Okay. I really fucking am. I'm a fucking poet for fuck's sake. Like I wear my heart on my sleeve and then like, I don't know. It's just, I'm so fucking tired of giving to people and having people not appreciate it or not um, being grateful for it and then not reciprocating that. And if I tell you like something doesn't mean that much to me but this thing over here means a lot to me. And you're like, oh, okay. So I'll just keep doing that thing for you that you don't really care that much about. If I already tell you that that doesn't mean that much to me and that's the thing you keep doing, how do you fucking think that's gonna make me feel when I tell you exactly what I would like, and I know this is really vague and a lot of you aren't going to know what I'm talking about, but that's fine because it's, it's the principle of it. It's like, regardless of what it is, it's the same fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm having a hard time and I'm already like, I feel like I'm at the end of my rope as far as like my fucking sanity goes. And the last thing I need is like people I'm dating to fucking make me feel like I'm fucking going crazy. Anyway, I guess I should shut the fuck up and go into the post office and mail all this shit because I got a lot. Okay, well, um, I mailed all of the blood rags, all of the orders, all of the um, eight by tens of me taking a shit. <clears throat> all the stickers, 
all of it. And um, it wasn't as much as I thought it was going to be. So that was nice. Whew, I'm just crying a lot. Um, not because of the post office, for fuck's sake. Um, and not because I can't get out because there's a trash truck trying to get a dumpster from some place right now. But there was, like, I don't really fucking know what happened. Chick, who helps me almost every time I go to the post office, she was there by herself. And this fucking weird, like, hipster homeless guy came in there. And he went up to the counter. And I didn't see him come in. But he was at the counter and he was eating a muffin and a cookie, like in like a container. And she saw him and she's like, oh no, not today. And she gets up and she runs around and he was like kind of over by some other shit. He started screaming. And so like, because I'm a fucking idiot, I like rushed up on him and then that made him scream. But then he started running and then he fucking, like, started punching the fucking window. And then everything just went back to normal. And it was like nothing had happened and he was gone. I really shouldn't come to the post office at noon. But if I come at one, then she's on lunch. And then the other dude's there. So it's um, still kind of a pain in the ass. So I usually try to... I try to not show up until like 1.30 and usually around 1.30 um, the parking's a lot easier around here but I kind of lucked into this spot when is this guy going to fucking go? should I just fucking gun it? so anyway, oh that guy's backing up okay, shit, shit shit there's got to be a better way to fucking get the trash guys, seriously fucking stopping in the middle of a fucking main fucking road Jesus fucking Christ, man. That's what alleys are for, dude. Alright. Um. I don't know. Like, the thing that sucks about life, and this might be the thing that makes me tick, and it came up in a fight that when my personal life starts going to shit. <laughs> um, I work a lot. Like I take on a lot more things. And some of you might be saying to yourself, well shit, Matt, you've been doing all sorts of stuff for like the last fucking, dude, seriously, that was crazy. I thought I just saw Chasey standing right there. But I know Chasey's not here. So, um, but Chasey, if you come out, call me. Don't just, like, wander around the streets. I'll, I'll help you out. I'll come get you. Oh, my God. That was fucking hysterical, dude. That looked exactly like you. You have a fucking doppelganger on fucking 7th Street, dude. Oh, my fucking God. All right. But, like, you guys might be saying... You've been super fucking busy for like the last year. And it's like, no shit. But here's the thing. Like all of these things I want to do. These are all things that I've dreamed about doing. Like the small press, doing everything, poetic anarchy, everything. So it's not like I'm only doing this because of like depression or anything like that. But oh, these guys are going to hit me. Um, uh oh, this guy's gonna hit me. But, um, if, like, trying to, like, busy myself with work so I don't have to deal with my fucking problems, if that is a way of making my life easier, then fucking so be it, dude. I'm fucking fine with that. And another thing too, like, um, because I usually have most of my personal problems during the times in which I would normally be writing, um, I'm not writing as much. I, I was looking at this month's totals and they're actually pretty good. I, I've been doing quite a bit. 
but what I end up doing is, like, I won't write for, like, three or four days, and then, like, I'll, like, have, like, a giant, like, fucking purge, and write, like, 10 or 12 poems, and then, like, I won't write for, like, three days, and then have, like, a giant purge again. Um, so that's just kind of been how it's been going. Why is this guy sticking out so far? Dude, that chick can barely see over that fucking steering wheel, dude. Jesus Christ, she's like looking through the steering wheel. <sighs> okay, let's get some Jack in the Box, dude. I need. I haven't eaten. I really haven't eaten in two days, but I'm not supposed to say that out loud because it makes me sound like a fucking alcoholic. But if it makes you guys feel any better, I only had one glass of wine last night, and it wasn't even a full glass. It was more of a half. -y. This is what happens, I'm, I get hungry, and then I fucking come here, and I'm so fucking hungry that I order everything off the menu, and then like, I only want like one or two things, really. <sighs> I didn't even get what I wanted to get. All I wanted was an extreme sausage sandwich. Okay, let me see if I can make it over the sidewalk right now. Is anybody coming? Yeah, there is, but hopefully they won't come. And I did it. That was probably pretty stupid, I shouldn't have done that. I say that every fucking time. Okay, so I'm starving. The only thing I fucking ate yesterday was I made a burrito with, um, I had some like leftover ground turkey, some old rice that probably I shouldn't have eaten. I even put a date on it. But, okay, let's see what this fucking thing's like. And of course it's gonna go all over me. It's kind of fucking delicious. God, that biscuit's good. It's like fucking red lobster up in here. Now, for those of you who don't have a Jack in the Box near you, that's probably a good thing. Jack in the Box always tastes better when you're fucking drunk. Um, because there's a good possibility that whatever you eat at Jack in the Box is going to come up. But for some reason, when it comes up, even no matter how much you chew it, when it comes up, it's not um, chewed anymore. It's put back together and back to normal. I don't understand it. It's happened a million times to me. Yeah, so there you go. Doesn't that look tasty, guys? Look. Do not come to me with a hard time problem. Like, if you care about me, I'm saying these things. You know, if you don't care about me, then fucking whatever. Don't worry about it. But if you come to me with a problem, I'm going to try to just be there for you to vent and listen. And I'll just listen. But inevitably, I will try to fix your problem. And I hate that I fucking do that. I don't need to do that. No one usually asks me to do that, but I will always do that. I've noticed that over the years, I've set boundaries up and I'm usually the one that breaks them. So how mad can I actually get at somebody for that? If we're dating and say we've been dating a long time, I'm talking a couple years now, that is the absolute first time you should ever even mention in passing us living together because I can't fucking do it. I don't know if I'm just not built for relationships or what. I'm just, I'm really bad at it. I have failed many relationships. When did these um, weird thin little mustaches come back into style? with short shorts. I need wine and a beer. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Paco about delicious. <laughs> so funny, Jack. Okay, it's like a thousand degrees outside and this dude's walking around in a fucking suede jacket carrying an ice cream cake. That's weird.
So this is happening. Live stream, or not the live stream, the premiere of Drinking Less, the audiobook. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.